Hey, what's going on miners? Today we're going to be building an ergo node. So let's just get straight into this video. So I have built a uh, Ubuntu 20.04 uh, VM in my server. Um, so we're going to start it off here with sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade dash y now what this is going to do is get the packages and then install them so let's go ahead and hit this command to get started it's going to ask you for your password and away she's going to go now with that being said there is a actual like doc guide or uh, blog you want to say about how to set up a ergo node i did have a little bit of help from second tl mining so once again thank you to second tl mining he kind of helped me with a little bit with the ergo node part so they do also have a doc on how to create a mining pool as well as the configuration for doing an ergo node for mining so if that's something that you're interested in um, i will have links to both the node um, basic configuration as well as how to run um you know the setup for for mining for mining core for the stratum and everything like that so i'll leave links to that down below in the description okay so once it's updated and upgraded everything okay the first thing that we're going to do is we need to we're going to make a um we're going to make a directory or a folder so i'm going to do mkdir and i'm going to just copy exactly how it is in the ergo node file here so we're gonna do ergo folder, which is what they have. We're gonna do a CD into the ergo folder. Okay, and you could do, you could see that there's nothing in the folder. So now we're going to also, we're now we're gonna create the configuration file. So you need to do this command, which is gonna be sudo nano uh, ergo.conf. Okay, I, I like to use nano for configuring my conf. You can also use like things like vim. Uh, I prefer nano, I think it's easier. So then it's going to be blank. So you're going to need to copy this section from that particular blog post that has the ergo guide. This is what it'll look like where it'll say ergo directory mining equals false. Now, if you want to change it to mining, you'll need to come over to the, where it tells you for the node configuration for hosting a pool. Okay. And then you're actually going to have to, the configuration will be different. It's not just, deleting false and changing it to true. There is a few more things that you would need to add. And this is where you're gonna need to add this section right here. Now, I'm not gonna teach you how to set up the stratum or mining core. That's just getting a little too complicated. I'm just trying to set up the node here, but I'm just saying this is the configuration. If you were trying to do this part to do the ergo mining, this is what you'd wanna do. Because every time you change the configuration file, you're going to have to resync the entire blockchain. So if you're trying to do mining, this is where you do it now. If you're just going to run the basic ergo node, you would do the previous one. This is what it's going to look like if we're doing for mining, where you're going to have the uh, mining equals true. You're going to have this check uh, EIP 27 equals true with the chain remission uh, rules and everything like that. So um, now we're not going to do that quite just yet right now. So we're not doing mining. So I'm going to go ahead and add the um, the other uh, argument in here. That's just for the basic ergo node. All right, so now we're going to do a, uh, you're gonna do control X and then Y and then enter. So now we've created the configuration file for, for our ergo node. So the next thing before we get into starting the node now that we've done the configuration file, we need to actually get the actual file from Ergo, which we're gonna do a wget, and then I'm gonna copy and paste this link. So this is a jar file, which means that this is also gonna be ran in Java. So I'll, I'll, we will get to that in one minute here, all right? So we're going to get the wget command to go ahead and get this file. All right, now that we actually have the Java file. Okay, so the next command we're gonna enter is going to be sudo apt install default JDK. Hit yes. Now that we've installed Java, we got the wget, and now we're about to run the command for the ergo configuration file. We need to actually set up a screen. So this way we're able to 
still type in command. So this is going to take us to a screen. So it's essentially like another VM sort of screen inside of our VM. So this way we can enter a command in here. And what that's going to do is, is allow us to paste in this command to be able to put in this is the start command for the node. What's going to happen is it's just going to keep on syncing stuff. So you're not going to be able to type in any commands. So this is why we do another screen. That way we could type the command in and then go back to the original screen. So go ahead and hit enter. Now it's actually going to start doing all of this stuff now. And now we can do a control, uh, hold control and then do a, uh, AD. And now we've detached from said window. And now we're back, we could type in commands again. We need to actually go to um, uh, Internet Explorer, and then we need to actually put in the IP address for that particular VM. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just here at the basic Microsoft Edge window here. So now that we've essentially created the, um, the VM and started the node, now we're going to come to the Internet Explorer and come up here and we're going to type in the IP address with semicolon 9053 because that's the port to connect to this ergo node. So we're going to enter that in and then it should bring you over here to this, to this ergo node API. Now we're going to scroll down until we get to the utility section here. And then you're going to see this post hash Blake two, and you're going to click post. And then you're going to click uh, try out, right? So what you want to do here is this is essentially going to be your API. So what you're going to do is, is you could put something like, uh, you know, I'll just put like uh, Terra hosting or something, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to click execute. Okay. Now you're going to scroll down and you're going to get this this hash right here all right now i would suggest downloading this hash because it's kind of like a seed phrase sort of so i would download a copy of this i'm not gonna because it's just a test so i don't really care so but if i was you i would download this so this way you have this on hand or copy and paste it do something put it somewhere um now that we have the said hash okay we need to actually go back and um, go to our ergo node, and I'm gonna show you how to enter this in. So now that we're back at our node, we're going to um, do an LS really quick, and we have our configuration file, so we're gonna do another sudo nano ergo dot configuration. <clears throat> now we are gonna change this just a tiny bit, okay? So we will copy in these new set of commands here, and this is just a stock API hash, like, that they just leave in there. So don't, don't run that, right? The hash that we got from the, the Terra hosting thing, you know, like our secret API that we put in there, we're going to copy and paste that in there. So this is the actual API from this, okay? We're gonna do a control X with a Y, enter, and we reset it, okay? Now we need to restart our node again. Okay. For this. So what we're going to do is, um, is this is kind of the annoying part. You have to start the node, get the, uh, the API hash and then start the node again. So you, it, you kind of have to go back and forth a tiny bit, right? So, um, so we're going to go back to our screen, which is going to be screen dash R dash ergo. And if you've created too many screens like me, you need to enter in the number and then a dot and then this, it'll go back to the correct screen. Okay. So that's it's syncing right now. We're going to do a control C and that's going to immediately stop the node. Okay. Now we need to re-enter the command in and put in the current release number, which is going to be 5.0.11. And we're going to hit enter again to have it sync because we had to run it to get that first initial utility to get the hash thing to work, right? We need that 
that way you've created your own hash and this is essentially your own node right you would do this process even with the mining part you'd have to start this initially and then do it again to get the hash and then you would restart it right here but now that we have the node going we need to do a control a d again okay and that's going to take us away from the screen and now we need to initialize our wallet so we're going to go back in, to our um our uh, vm address in the web browser here okay so instead of the we have the 9053 we're going to add the forward slash and then panel all right so then we're going to hit enter and now you could see your ergo node is syncing okay and stuff like that so this is what the ergo um node interface is going to look like you're going to set the api key which is the key you use to get the hash which in my case would be terra hosting okay so i'm going to put we're going to put terra hosting in here okay save the changes okay the api key has been set to this particular node okay now look now you can see the wallet information is syncing and stuff like that now we need to initialize the wallet so now you're just going to come in and set passwords you know what i mean i'll put hawk is awesome hawk is awesome okay and i'm going to put send all right now you've set the passwords now you could always lock the wallet and you can't unlock the wallet so right now by default the wallet is just open you have here that mining is disabled you have how many peers i have right here um so other than that it does take a long time to sync this from uh you know it's probably going to take you like a day to sync this for all the blocks because there's roughly about a million blocks a little over that so it does take some time to sync this node um i'm not going to show you how to set up the stratums in mining core that's that this video would drag on forever i know everybody kind of i know some people want that so maybe i'll do a follow-up video on how to get the stratum to work to mine solo um i have it in mining core which is much i think it's a much easier than setting up the stratum all right guys so that's how you make an ergo node it's pretty easy pretty straightforward there's not it's it's not it's a pretty easy node you know what i mean there is going to be some commands and stuff like that so um i will try to leave as many of the commands down in the description as possible unless youtube flags them maybe i'll create a doc and i'll share it with everybody maybe that'll be the better thing to do so all right guys this is the money key giving you the most hashes and i'll see you next time